District attorneys say they are so concerned by what they've seen with the state's new online court record system that they want the rollout to stop temporarily. That system is called eCourts, and you may remember it rolled out here in Mecklenburg County back in October. The DA says it's slowing them down and has created grave challenges. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh tonight. Michael, court officials say they don't agree with pausing the rollout. Right, this is happening in phases with another group of counties set to start using the system later this month. But the DAs say that they want to see all of the problems fixed, even as court administrators say they want to see everybody get online. There are so many issues with the transition to the new online court record system called eCourts that district attorneys say the state needs to pause. In my district, which must confront the state's largest volume of criminal cases, that grave challenges remain. We've documented those challenges for the last year. Errors with court dates, DMV records, and private records made public. Mecklenburg County DA Spencer Merriweather says it takes twice as many people to handle half the caseload they could before. In Johnston County, DA Susan Doyle says it took her more than two minutes to load a case the other day. Tomorrow, we have 748 cases on our disposition court calendar. That would take more than 24 hours to address every single case on that calendar. The state is scheduled to roll out e-courts to more counties later this month and to implement it statewide by the end of next year. The DA's urged court administrators to wait until these issues are fixed. Ryan Boyce heads the administrative office of the courts, which is overseeing the rollout. Just slowing down that increase of, of public access to justice, I think, is harmful. The state has a $100 million contract with Tyler Technologies. The company declined to comment, referring me back to the state. Boyce pointed out there's now a mix of some counties using e-courts and some not. The longer we kind of live in this purgatory is going to be harmful uh, to the public. The DAs also say this new system makes it easier to find identifying information of crime victims, including in domestic violence cases. Court administrators say they are working to change that, but pointed out that information is still public record, and the legislature may need to address that. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, Queen City News. Let's, let's expand this a little bit here. Mecklenburg County Courts experienced a wide variety of issues during the program's rollout last year. A software update was to blame. It caused some to be kept in jail longer, delayed others from getting booked, and impacted court hearings. Now, three former inmates at the Mecklenburg County Jail are suing Sher Sheriff Gary McFadden and Clerk of Superior Court Elisa Chin Gary. They claim they were unlawfully detained because of issues surrounding the e-court system. The federal lawsuit was first filed last May.